Hey everybody, this is Mark with Flatwoods Bee Farm. Today is, uh, I, th I think it's August 17th. Yeah, here in Locust, North Carolina. So you just never know what you're gonna come home and find. I've been working bees in the out yards all day and come back here to do a little looking around at my, my spare, one of my spare equipment piles. Of course, I got a, Another little pile over there. You know how beekeepers are. We got piles everywhere. But uh, you just never know what you're gonna find. Right here's a bait hive I use during swarm season. I come back here and these bees coming and going. It's like what in the world? So I come over here. I look. And there's bees guarding the entrance. It's like well that's odd. This is past the middle of August. Shouldn't have a swarm. So I come up here and grab the lid. Look what I find. Ain't that something? I caught a swarm on August the 17th in the old bait hive sitting over here. And look, it's full of <laughs> pure luck, full of frames. So. Here's Mark's tip for the day. If you got old bait hives that you've used uh, Swarm Commander and other stuff in, and you got them sitting uh, as in storage, go ahead and store them with frames in them. Because you never know when you might catch a swarm. And you definitely don't want the trouble, the problems of not having frames in them. Because that is a whole different video altogether. So. All right, easy beekeeping, catching swarms in August. So I got to get a feeder on them. That's what that is right there. All right, hope y'all having a great day. I know I am. So after I shot that first little segment of this video, I went in them to see if I could see the queen. Well, guess what? It's a red dot queen. It's one of my uh, summer splits here at the home yard that apparently did not like where I had them. So now she's moved everybody into that bait hub. So now I gotta go look through these nukes with uh, last year's queens in it and uh, see if I can figure out where it come from. <laughs> gotta love beekeeping, right? Y'all have a good day. Okay, so um, the bees in the bait hive are not a swarm, they're an abscond. So let me bring everybody up to date on what's going on. I, I found where they came from. Those of you that know me know I love to uh, use resource hives. It's basically a, a 10 frame box split in the middle with a divider and it becomes, uh, you have a colony on each side. Um, this is like this one. See, this there's a colony on this side, a divider, and there's a colony on this side. Of course, this is a vent hole. That's the entrance for that colony. The uh, entrance for this colony is over on the other side. Anyway, <coughs> I'm, I had some spare 10 frame boxes, and I made one of my own. Um, this this is the one one that I made, and these are the the uh, supers. These are deeps, hold four frames each. I bought those. Um, so what what happened is uh, that those bees in that bait hive absconded out of this side of the resource hive. And I don't know why, because I had just added this, added the supers, or whatever you want to call it um, to give them more room because they were getting a little congested um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to set the uh, camera up on the tripod and open this thing up and go in there and try to figure out uh, why they left why they wanted to go back over there so let me set the tripod up and we'll look open it up okay let's see what we got in here So 
gonna be interesting to see what I find in here. So, like I said, these were, it was two colonies. Um, this one's over yonder in a bait hive. And uh, this is a beautiful piece of canvas that, uh, that I got from a, a buddy of mine. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate that, man. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay. Set this brick right there. Now, oh boy. Well, I can already see some small high beetle larvae in here. Is that why they absconded? Hmm, I don't know. I doubt it, because it was a very strong colony um, when they took off. So, let me see if I can capture them on the... Uh, camera. Let's see, where are they? Maybe they're on this side. Yep, there's one. So, they hate light. So you can see they're coming out of the cells running for cover. But that's a small hive beetle uh, larva. Anyway. Alright, so that's the box I added just the other day. Now let's look down in here. Just trying to figure out why they took off. Very strange. Of course, a lot of small high beetle larvae in here now. But, uh, and that might be what happened. Um, Never had that problem right here because it, this, this area is uh, in the sunlight quite a bit. So let me see if I can get the camera down here where you can see a little better. Just bear with me. This is a one-man video show, so. <laughs> All right, look down in there. So, I'm thinking that the small hive beetle population got too high in here, and they absconded. Went over yonder and got in that bait hive. So that is my <sighs> autopsy, or whatever you want to call it. Um, small hive beetle got them. So. I gotta do something about that. Let me take, go ahead and take these frames out. Put this back up here. Sorry for making you seasick, but it is what it is. Now, I'm gonna take all these frames out. And leave it open those rascals exposing to the light because we obviously they don't they don't like the light okay so let's look at the other side let's see what's going on over there and obviously let's see, make sure you can see that in the camera yeah very good population over here on the other side a lot of bees. So let's see what we got. So I don't see any small hive beetle. Usually, if there's a if there's a lot of men here, 
when you take either the inner cover or whatever off, they'll be all over the place. Um, up and in. Yeah, I'll lay them. trying to go out. Oh well. So let's just look. Let's look on this frame right here. I got cat brood. Don't really see any small hive beetle on that. So let's take that off. Set it over here. Let's see what I got down in here. That's so discouraging. I don't lose a lot of bees. Okay, well this is the last segment in this little video. Um, <laughs> phone started ringing while I was shooting that last segment. And of course I video this stuff with my, with my iPhone so it quit videoing. Why it does that, I don't know. But anyway, mystery solved. Bees absconded over to the bait hive. Um, because of the high beetles. Queen went with them. So I know that they didn't go queenless while they were in that resource hive. Uh, the queen went with them. The whole colony left. So keep track of your small high beetles. I thought I was, but you know, nature always proves us wrong. Especially the bees will do that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Maybe you learned a little something. And again, if you leave, leave something in the comments, what you think I should do. Should I try to bring that colony back over here and put in there? or what so all right hope you're having a great day